Hey everyone, this is Dalton at Dalton and TFs, and as you can see, we're taking a look at another subscription service item. This one is number six. Now, there is a seventh figure in here, but we will get to that in another video. And, well, we already know who that is, but we'll take a look at him later. So, here is Impactor and all of his little bits. Get those out of here. And this is bio card. And for now we'll set this guy aside for later. I'm bringing in Impactor. He is a retool repaint of Rook, but I I think it works for him. I've heard a lot of people saying they want the Unite Warriors version of nose cone for Rook, and yeah, I see how that would make a little bit more sense, you know, having the treads and the different build to the vehicle, but I, I personally like this the way it is. I mean, I don't have any problems with it, you know, myself. Uh, I, th I think I'm just too nice to Hasbro and the club, because the, the club has some great ideas, and I've never been upset with any of them before. Anyways, here is Impactor himself, looking very nice, very nice deep purple. Uh, I wouldn't say it's quite Decepticon purple, but it, it is pretty close. Uh, you got a lot of nice orange paint all throughout the vehicle, through these windows, the red and the silver on the grill, a little bit of orange right here, the black highlighting the axe and the jaws of life, the little canisters for that, the gas cans up here, the emergency lights here, the nice little Autobot symbol, a little bit of white showing through and everything, but doesn't bother me any nice silver rims and quickly comparing them next to tarantula so you can see the big differences in those even the orange being completely different this is more of that kind of mustardy yellow whereas this is just straight up orange so you can see all those differences now this obviously the same type of paint decals just different colors so there is that as far as accessories go you get the original you know, Jaws of Life, Capture Claw type thing. You've got a purple version of the Rook missile launcher, which can plug into here, or if you want up here, with this. We have that, let's actually move that to here. Then you've got these weapons, which have been causing a lot of controversy. These are all of RC's weapons from the Generations RC. You've got the two swords, the gun here, which is to replicate his shoulder cannon, and this to represent his little pistol that he has in some of the comics. So, let's go ahead and plug that right in there. Plug this one here. Plug the sword there. Now there's this other sword. don't really know where to put it. I mean, you could put it there, but it's just going to pop right off. But there you go, now you can store all the weapons on Impactor. As far as his bio card, this is the better of the two as far as the wrapper goes. It's still that kind of just that weird cellophane. That's not really what we're accustomed. Actually, I think this is close this is a lot closer to what we're more accustomed to, but with blue streak it's a little bit different. But really awesome bio there. I love that. You know, wanna plan, fine, wreck and rule. You know, just imagine Impactor saying it instead of my shitty way of saying it. And you got some very nice stats right there. So, Endurance of cur and Courage of 10, that's pretty good. Fire Blast 9, what would you, else would you expect? Strength of 9, fairly intelligent. He is more intelligent than he is fast, so... I mean, he is an APC after all, so let's get that out of here. We'll do one more quick comparison, and that is with the... MMC version, which I believe is just more IDW correct, which which I'm fine with. You know, this will go on my kind of IDW type shelf. And this will go on a classic shelf, kind of like the whole Marvel type thing. But I, I still got to say, you know, you, you're getting what you pay for. You pay for an $80 figure, this is what you're going to get. This, you factor in all the others, you get about a $30, $40 figure, and this is what you would expect for $30. So, not too bad, I would say. So, I, I, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, again, we're going to skip the transformation. We have seen this many times on this channel. Actually, just, yeah, quite a few times with, you know, Tarantulas, Rook, and Swindle. 
and we'll be seeing it again with uh, Hound, but as a different character. Just, you'll, you'll see that when I get to that. So let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. And here we have Rook, not Rook, Impactor in robot mode. And I gotta say, he looks really great. Uh, the, the paint work really works. The only thing is, the head looks a little off. But but it works for me. I mean, it's not exactly what we've seen in the Promar. And that was just a placeholder for the actual thing. I'm still pretty happy with this. This doesn't look bad. I know he's got Guy Liner, but hey, it, it works. Uh, I believe the whole head is cast in translucent plastic, just painted over orange. Because his eyes look very translucent, so... I uh, got a really nice look here with the chest being silver and orange. A little bit of, looks like a, either it's bleed through or black wash. I can't tell. Uh, the white r looks really good, separating, you know, for the joints. Which is kind of weird because you'd expect it to be the same as this here or this share the same color scheme. So I, I think that's just a little bit weird. But either way, he looks really good. I do like how on the left hand here they molded the... You know, they painted the hand orange and left this one blank to just pay respects to the fact that he doesn't have a hand on this arm anymore. Uh, it's a pretty smart move. Uh, I, my buddy Dakota, you know, you guys know him as Primal Sabbath, uh, was telling me that he plans on getting a second one of Impactor so he can drill a hole in it so he can hold the weapons. And, you know, I, I might as well just do that myself as well because we bring in the MMC one. You can actually hold that gun right there as a pistol, which is what this pistol right here is trying to be. So I was trying to pay reference to that. I mean, you could plug it in, but this left hand just doesn't want to hold on to anything. And even so, even if this one you know, that doesn't really hold on to the gun, the only way it really holds on to it is up like that, or up here on the shoulder. So. But you can also see, again, like I said before, with the differences, you know, you got more muted purple here, and the orange on this impactor is more of a tan rather than just straight up orange. The reds are pretty close, so. But you see, you got the, kind of got the same details here through the forehead that you do here on the club one. Now, as far as weapons go, you do have this, which I honestly prefer this because it's what we've been seeing with all the art with him even in the comic and we take this right here and it homages this shoulder cannon now it would probably be better if it was sitting on top of the shoulder like this or to the side or even you know like right here I'm pretty sure there would be a way to you know, make a little thing that slides onto this tab if it slides far enough back to where it doesn't interfere with any of the other parts, like here, for the transformation. I would be alright with that if, you know, if it were to just peg in there, come up to here, or something, just to give us a 5mm peg for us to set that in. Just so he has it over his shoulder. But, you know, I, I'm fine with it stuck on to the side of the shoulder. I mean, it, it does its job, so... You've also got these swords to more closely resemble his harpoon. So you got those. And when I first got this guy, you know, the left fist would not hold on to anything. I finally, you know, filled it, put in some uh, clear nail polish in there. Uh, a few coats, actually. And now he holds on to both swords. And, which reminds me, I need to show you guys a hilarious part of this. And just knowing who wrote it. It makes it even funnier. Um, right here. Super here. Right. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Director Andy has recently become fond of dual superheated laser wards. I mean, really, Daniel? Wards? You, you, you know, you, you should have proofread this before you even allowed it to go through. And I can't believe everyone else, you know, no one has made mention of that yet. I, I, I just I think it's funny, so... But that's just me. Um, and of course his sword falls off. Or I should say his ward. There goes his other ward. Put his missile launchers back there. Go ahead and put his ward back in here. 
Let's go ahead and put this on his shoulder. Let's find a place to put this capture claw. Yeah, I can just put it right in there. There we go, now I can have everything on him. And like I said, he looks look really good. Um, his joints are nice and tight. A lot better than I would expect. So, it all works really well. I mean, it, it works for Impactor. Um, real quick here, let's go ahead and get Tarantulas. And there we go. We got him with Tarantulas so you can just see again the differences in paint and everything. The main difference being, you know, they're not using the same purple plastic here that they did on trenches, and I'm knocking these guys over like crazy. But yeah, so far the club has used these guys twice, this mold twice, and with each one, I mean, they're completely different as far as the scheme and everything, so it, it really works for me, plus they're not even supposed to be in the same universe as one of each, one each other, one another, so it, you know, like I said, it works. So, that is pretty much all I've got to say on Impactor. Uh, like I've been saying, he looks really good. I'm really happy to have him. He He's going to fit well in my regular Classics collection, whereas this guy is going on his own kind of IDW shelf. So, like I said, he looks really great. Really happy to have him. I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of gushing because this, this is the second time Hasbro's officially released a impactor figure and this time they've actually got the color scheme correct because if you guys remember the fall of cybertron version had the colors flipped so we had the purple helmet with the yellow orange kind of crest where it should have been the other way around and most of the figure was yellow to begin with or orange to go with the whole ruination thing but like i said here they knocked it out of the park um, i know some people would have liked them to be a uh Voyager or you know just a bigger figure, but I'm happy with the way he is. If they were to make a Voyager sized uh, Wrecker it had to it, it, in my opinion it should be pyro out of Hotspot, that's just that's just me, but Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and let you guys get on with your life So hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see the review of Rook go ahead and check out the link in the description along with Tarantulas and Spartan. Again, those might have been popping up in the cards throughout the video. And like I said, they're in the description. And along with my playlist for the rest of Subscription Service 4.0, we will get on to the last figure and the overview here shortly. And I just realized there is a little paint blemish right there. But that's not enough to bother me, really. I mean, I just noticed it after having this guy for almost a week now. So. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.